Hi, it's Donnie from BlackBerry. Today I'm gonna to be unboxing the all new BlackBerry Passport. And I know you can't wait to see it, so I'm just gonna dive right in. A little bit wiggle there, and there it is. So right away you'll see that this device is purpose-built for productivity with its large square touchscreen and its full QWERTY keyboard, which is also touch enabled. So more on that in a bit when I turn the device on. Um, it's really cool, but let's continue to dive into the box. All right, underneath the device, we have a document that's inspired by uh, the travel document, the passport, uh, for which this device is named. And it goes through the design story, the mobility of it, uh, the structure, so you can see the materials that are involved. And if you keep flipping, uh, start here, it will show you around the device and around the BlackBerry 10 software. So right away, you'll notice um, it shows you how to insert your nano SIM and your micro SD for expandable storage. Underneath that is a complimentary 30-day uh, direct support from BlackBerry. So you call this number if you have any problems, and for 30 days after purchase, we will, we will be there to support you directly. Under the device tray, right away you'll see that all the accessories are here. You have your charger, which plugs into the wall, and if you're in Europe or anywhere else in the world, you'll see the charger for your region. A USB cable, standard, it plugs into the wall charger for charging. It will also connect your device to a computer. In this section here, we have manuals, information about the Snapdragon processor and various warranty cards. And last but not least, the headphones. So these will plug into the jack on the top of your device. They have a microphone on them. They have a tango resistant cable and they sound great. I have a pair of these myself and I love them for traveling. There you have it. So that's the Passport unboxed. I'm gonna take a few minutes to walk you around the, uh, the hardware of the device and then I'll turn it on for you. So right away you'll see that it's got a large square touchscreen, QWERTY keyboard, it's nice and thin and it's built with premium materials. So you're getting a nice stainless steel um, I-beam construction which helps with um, structure so it's nice and strong and it's also very lightweight. The back here once you peel back the protective layers um, it's a nice soft touch finish uh, it's grippy and it's really nice in hand and you'll see that it, fit, it does fit nicely into into the palm of your hand. Um, you can extend your thumb along the keyboard and it's actually really nice. So on the back here, we have a 13 megapixel OIS uh, camera. That's great for videos and photos. And like, the, like I showed you in the, uh, in the manual, the back snaps off to insert your nano SIM and your micro SD card. All right, so I'll snap that back in. Clicks nicely. And let's turn it on. Now that I've unboxed the BlackBerry Passport, let me dive into BlackBerry 10.3 and really show off that screen. As you can see, out of the box, you're getting the Amazon App Store and BlackBerry World. So you have a huge selection of apps on the BlackBerry Passport. There's also the BlackBerry Assistant, which is a text and voice assistant that taps into your work emails, your personal emails, and keeps you organized. Now I really wanna show off the screen, so I'm gonna show you a spreadsheet here. Look how wide that spreadsheet is. You're getting all of these cells and it allows you to quickly edit and work on documents that you need while on the go without missing a beat. The BlackBerry Hub is the last thing I wanna to touch on. If you're not familiar with the BlackBerry Hub, it is your central inbox. It manages your conversations on social media, your work emails, your personal emails, and even BBMs. In the BlackBerry Hub, they've added something called Instant Actions. And this allows you to quickly delete a number of emails while on the go, or even accept and decline meeting invites. So you can stay productive through the BlackBerry Hub. Now one thing I didn't touch on that I really need to is the incredibly innovative touch-enabled keyboard. So as you can see, some of you might be going, wow, that's crazy. I am touching and swiping on the physical QWERTY keyboard with keys that click, and I'm using it to scroll through the BlackBerry Hub. So it's touch sensitive underneath, and it allows you to do things like scroll, flick to type, swipe to delete in the Hub, and in the browser as well, and other places. I'm gonna show you what I mean by flick to type. So if I wanna write an email, hey there, uh, I can start typing hey and there, and you'll notice right away that there's three options. I can write there, 
thanks, or this. So if I swipe on the keyboard underneath the word there, it appears up in the subject line. Hey there, let's go for a walk. And as you can see, I used a combination of the physical keys and the swiping to get that sentence out. Now let's say I didn't want to say walk. Um, I can quickly swipe from right to left on the keyboard and delete the word walk. Did you see that? Before, what you would have to do is you would have to click number of times on the backspace key just to delete a word. And if I want to do something called quick selection, I just double tap without hitting, clicking the keys to bring up a cursor. This is really cool because I can, I can use it as a, as a cursor for fine navigation. And if I hold this shift key, I can select text, which makes it really easy to copy, paste, and select text on the go. So there you have it, a quick overview and unboxing of the BlackBerry Passport with a large square touchscreen, touch-enabled keyboard, and a huge selection of apps.